Where am I? Today, I'm at the new walking street near Bangkok, Chinatown. Klong Ong Ang Walking Street. Klong means canal in the Thai language, and Ong Ang means pottery. Klong Ong Ang Canal is located between Chinatown and Fahirat neighborhoods, the Chinese and Indian quarters of Bangkok. Klong Ong Ang was constructed during the reign of King Rama I in 1783, making it one of Bangkok's oldest waterways. At that time, Klong Ong Ang played an integral role in trade and travel. The canal was used by boats to unload goods from the countryside, and this canal was an important pottery trading spot. Opening late last year and subsequently suspended as part of the city's COVID-19 control measures, it reopened in early March 2021. Klong Ong Ang Walking Street is located just 50 meters from the Samyat MRT station. You get out from exit 1 and cross to the opposite side of the road. Walk around 2 to 3 minutes, and you will see Ong Ang Walking Street on the right. From Dam Rong Sapit to the Sapanhan Bridge, this walking street stretches 750 meters on both sides of the canal. The canal has been modernized and transformed, making it a pleasant walking area today. In addition, the canal is transformed into a huge market on weekends, starting on Fridays, where Bangkokians come to have a good time and buy all kinds of foods and products. With much restoration and thought put into creating an inviting and characterful urban recreational area, Klong Ong Ang Walking Street is not like your average walking street. Instead, you can wander the paved footpaths and browse the stalls selling everything from t-shirts, dresses and shoes to plants, children's toys, and floral decorations. All the while, enjoying some live music, watching the children playing and laughing, buskers playing music, and vendors cooking their pad thai filling the air with the smell of street food, the sounds of children laughing, buskers playing music, and the sizzle of hot grills and clatter of woks. You can find plenty of delicious food to enjoy at Klong Ong Ang Walking Street, from grilled squid to meatballs to Thai sweets. As we continue walking along the footpath, we see tourists and locals munching on their chosen morsel or sitting at one of the many dining tables positioned along the canal. The governor of Bangkok spearheaded the street art project in partnership with the Bangkok Metropolitan Administration, Orai Panic, and ATM Spray to turn Ong Ang Street into a tourist landmark. Walls along the canal and some of the alleys are decorated with street art murals created by local artists. Not surprisingly, another popular activity here is taking selfies with the boldly illuminated canal itself as a backdrop or the striking graffiti street art that adorns the walls between shop houses, reflecting the area's mixed ethnicity. This place is Instagrammable. Now, what are you waiting for? Bring your family and friends over for a stroll along the canal. It's an excellent place for lovers. Mark it as your next romantic go-to in Bangkok. Kayaking is available for rental and SUP, stand-up paddle boarding, which you can rent for paddling the canal. Before deciding whether to kayak or not, take a good look at the water, some days, the canal surface has also been quite dark and murky. We couldn't have reached that location with a kayak. The Klong Ong Ang Walking Street has evolved from a crowded enclave of hawker stalls and a polluted waterway into a recreational oasis, thanks to the city's restoration and beautification projects. They cleaned the canal water, paved the canal banks, and renovated the historic bridges to improve the canal. The UN Habitat's Regional Office for Asia and the Pacific, awarded the Klong Ong Ang Renovation Project the 2020 Asian Townscape Awards. So this is why you must visit the Klong Ong Ang Walking Street and experience it. Mark this place as a must-go attraction when you next visit Bangkok. I have indicated the address in the description below. The Walking Street opens every Friday, Saturday, and Sunday from 4 p.m. to 10 p.m. It runs 1.5 kilometers along both sides of a beautified section of Klong Ong Ang between the Dam Rong Sathit Bridge and the Sifan Han Bridge. However, when we were there on Sunday night, only one side of the street was lined with stalls. It's such a pity as it will be good to see more stalls open for business. Right now, it remains a local affair, and the vendors mainly sell products that are of interest to locals. However, once international tourism, especially Chinese tourism, 
discovers this market, there is a possibility that products and food will change considerably, adapting to tourists' tastes. Thank you for watching, and if you like what you see, please subscribe, like, share, and comments, click on the notification bell so you will be notified when my new videos are up.